We've let the oil samples sit overnight, and they've been covered in saran wrap with a rubber band around to help keep any debris out. If we just come back and look and how, at, if we come back and see how they look, we can see the 5W30 looks clean. The 0W30 also looks clean. The castrols also look clean. The, if you remember, there was a little bit of a white gunk, and that's gone. The 10W40 also looks like we got a pretty uniform color, as well as the 5W30. And so now that we've let this all set and the temperature is neutralized, so they're all the same, we're going to get set up here so to do our heat test. You can see we've got our camping stove on and lit. We're going to give us a couple other pumps to bring down the, the flame. The top of this should be somewhere around 500 degrees. We've now let our oil samples cool, and I've got the test tubes here lined up in the same way that the bottles are lined up here. So the test tube here is Mobile One 5W30, Castrol Edge 5W30, Mobile One 0W30, Castrol Edge 0W30, Castrol Conventional 5W30, Castrol Conventional 10W40. And so if we look at our tests here and how these test tubes came out, there was no sign of sludge at about 400 degrees. I was trying to keep the bottom of these test tubes to within 400 degrees, give or take. We definitely saw some discoloration and where the oils were getting a little bit darker with the synthetics, but the conventional seemed to maintain their color. That might have something to do with the additive packages, or I don't know what that might be. There's our thickest one, 10W40. And so it's interesting that when it comes down for uh, what I normally use, you look at 5W30 engines here, that are hot tests. These seem to compare pretty favorably. Our 0W30. Uh, it's interesting how the mobile kind of darkened up a little bit more, where it's, but the Castrol 0W30, let me just do a side-by-side -side comparison. So here's the Castrol 0W30. 
up against the beaker that it came from, and it actually appears to be slightly lighter. Whereas if we look at the mobile 5W30, slightly darker. The Castrol 5W30 is probably the darkest of them all. And so for my money, I think I'm generally a 0W30 person, which I know is a little bit weird. And I think I'm going to continue to stick with the 0W30 year-round. And I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any other ideas for these experiments, please put them in the comments below. I'm happy to rerun these with some other motor oils or change something up. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And check out my other videos. And I hope you had a great day. Bye.